Compound events consist of two or more events, and there's two types of events. There's an independent event and a dependent event. Uh, you can think of these in terms of just like the science with an independent variable and a dependent variable. We're going to look at the probability of two independent events first, and basically the way you solve these is just take the fraction of each event and multiply them together. So let's say I have two dice, and I want to know what the probability of rolling a six for both die are. Now this is independent, so it doesn't matter what this die comes up as, because this one is not dependent upon this one. So I'll go ahead and roll it, and I don't get a six. And what I'm doing is trying to see what the probability is of rolling two sixes. Now I can continue rolling this, time and time again, whoop, I had a six there, or I can just use the probability of independent events. This dice has six sides, so in order to roll a six, or what the probability of rolling a six is, is one in six. This same dice, so I have a one in six chance of rolling a six on this dice too. So the compound probability of these rolling two sixes would be one six times one six or one thirty sixth. Moving on to the probability of two dependent events, now the first event will have an impact on the second event. So the first event will be the independent event, while the second one will be dependent. So to solve this, we will take the probability of the first event and multiply it by the probability of the second event. Here's the example for probability of two dependent events. So here I have a pile of candy and three of the pieces of candy are chocolate. I have a friend come over and he picks a piece of candy at random and the chances of him picking a chocolate candy would be three to five. Again, three pieces of candy, five pieces all together. Now I have a second friend come over and she is going to pick the, um, a piece of candy. Now the chance of her, chances of her picking chocolate is now dropped from three to five down to two to four because I only have two pieces of chocolate left. So in order to find out the probability of two dependent events here, all I'm going to do is multiply the two fractions I have or the two probabilities I have. First I had three to five, and then the next one was 2 to 4. When I multiply those together, I get 6 and 20. Or if I reduce that, I have a 3 in 10 chance of first picking chocolate and then the second time picking chocolate. So notice the first one has a denominator of 5 when there was 5 pieces. The second one had a denominator of 4, so it dropped by 1. On this first dice. Say hi, Cookie.